Today I want to talk about what initially made me want to learn mobile development. Let's get right to it. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Green Developer channel. As always, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to hit the like button and if you want to see more like it, hit the subscribe button. I thought that for those of you that are on the fence about learning mobile development or are just curious about it, this might give you some insight on some of the reasons someone might want to pursue that path. Let's start with the number one thing for me, the incredible reach that the mobile market has. At this point in time, an enormous part of the population has a smartphone with them at all times and that number is only growing. That means there's an incredibly big Big pool of potential users you can reach. On top of that, baked into the platform you're building for is a tool that will actually try to reach these users as well as it can, the app stores themselves. Not all these mobile application stores and platforms have their downfalls and they're far from perfect, but for someone with limited means for marketing, they will definitely help you reach as many users as you can because it's in the best interest of those platforms to do so. Which means if your projects are innovative, if they actually fill a need or have an odd Audience, you should get a fair bit of help from the platform itself to make the most of the big reach of mobile and reach as many users as possible in the end. Second thing I love about mobile development in particular is how it's largely consumer facing, especially when working on personal or independent projects. There's obviously nothing wrong with building apps for other businesses and there's definitely a fair part of the mobile development market that's done with that intent, but I personally love how easy it is to build something directly for a regular user with mobile development. You get to have a much more direct contact with those users and hopefully affect their daily lives in a meaningful way, which is extremely motivating to me. Things like asking for feedback from the users baked directly into your app and engaging with them directly as a result of it, or adding Easter eggs to your projects are common practices and help create that really interesting connection between you and your users. Ultimately, that closer and more direct connection with the users helps build what the users actually want and not only what you believe the users want. Number three, mobile development is overall an extremely accessible branch of programming to get into. First, you don't really need any fancy hardware. You most likely already have a smartphone you can learn all the basics of the platform on, even if it's a bit outdated. And your computer doesn't have to be particularly powerful to start building apps either, and it probably won't be a limiting factor at all, ever. It's also very accessible from a learning standpoint. Whether it's Android or iOS, you're looking at technologies that are designed and built for a very limited or or contained environment. And since you can't really do that much outside of that contained environment, learning things is usually fairly straightforward as there isn't usually too many ways to tackle problems. This can definitely make things a lot less confusing for new developers as there's possibly less contradicting information when you start learning mobile development as opposed to other branches of programming. Number four, and my final point for this video, smartphones have evolved over the last few years to machines that keep offering more and more interoperability with the real world. It makes sense, right? You have an easily reachable computer that can be used on the go anywhere at any time. That means it can be used in countless real-life applications that you could face in day-to-day -day life. Whether it's using the GPS to offer route tracking to users, using the camera to analyze plants you might run into, or allowing a user to connect to a Bluetooth heart rate monitor and find out their pulse in real time on an app. Mobile platforms offer extremely powerful options to interface with the real world and create some unbelievably cool projects in the process. And although it's true for basically all spheres of programming, the limit that you have with mobile development is really just your imagination and that integration with the real world around you seems to make it feel even more true in that case. So that's going to be it for me for today. If you're interested in learning mobile development, maybe let me know why in the comments below. I'd love to hear about it. I'll see you all in the next video and until then, take care.